as a month long movement led by students led to a dramatic shift in power in Bangladesh. There has been a lot of speculation over whether there is more than meets the eye over Sheikh Hasina's ouster. The former five time Prime Minister who fled the country reportedly told her supporters, I could have remained in power if I had surrendered the sovereignty of St. Martin's Island and allowed America to hold sway over the Bay of Bengal. While the former Bangladesh Prime Minister's son dismissed the remarks as fabricated, this is not the first time that Sheikh Hasina had hinted at US's interest in the island. Earlier, she claimed that a white man had offered her a smooth return to power in exchange for an air base on St. Martin's Island. A seemingly nondescript, three square kilometer stretch of land located in the northeastern part of the Bay of Bengal has unexpectedly become a focal point in Bangladesh's ongoing political turmoil. This small coral island is home to approximately 3,700 residents who are primarily engaged in fishing and farming. But it's the island's strategic location which has caught the attention of major global powers. St. Martin's Island is near the Strait of Malacca, which is one of the world's busiest maritime street routes. A military base on the island would provide any country with unparalleled oversight of the Bay of Bengal, including surveillance of Chinese investments and activities in the region around the Strait of Malacca. The island falls within Bangladesh's exclusive economic zone, giving access to fish, oil and gas. It is also a popular tourist destination with its pristine beaches attracting lots of visitors every year. While the International Tribunal for the Law of the Sea recognized St. Martin's Island as part of Bangladesh, Myanmar sees it as its own territory. In 2018, Myanmar had included St. Martin's Island on its official map, which triggered a strong objection from Bangladesh. The map was eventually deleted, with the then Myanmar foreign minister claiming that it was a mistake. But that government has since been ousted by the military junta and ships travelling to the island have been fired upon this year. This has forced the Bangladeshi Navy to deploy its own vessels near the island. The rumours about US wanting to control St. Martin's Island has been doing the rounds for several years. Officially though, Washington has rejected them. In 2003, Mary Ann Peters, the then US envoy to Bangladesh, said her country has no plans, no requirement and no desire for a military base on St. Martin's Island, Chittagong or anywhere else in Bangladesh. But US's interest in St. Martin's Island is seen as part of a broader strategy to counter China's influence in South Asia. A US military presence on the island could serve as a check on Chinese ambitions in the region, particularly given China's ongoing investments in the Belt and Road Initiative through Bangladesh and Myanmar. It could also provide a foothold to keep an eye on the Cox Bazar port in Bangladesh that the Chinese are building. So the geopolitical significance of St. Martin's Island cannot be underestimated.